What up, though, everybody? It's your boy King. Um, all my YouTube subscribers, DV family, everybody out there, all the Detroit Pistons fans. Um, tonight's game, Detroit Pistons versus the Suns. Um, the Pistons absolutely obliterated the Suns tonight. Uh, the Suns, of course, we know is not a good franchise right now. Currently, uh, they got Greg Monroe and Devin Booker over there, and you know some uh, a couple. Of, young players so uh with that being said um i feel like this was a statement game for the pistons and i know it sounds crazy but this is the reason why the pistons have been known for uh, the past couple of years to play down to people's level um and lose to teams like this or or have close games to teams like this so the reason why it's a statement win to me is to let people know that look we're not about to play with our food this year um just you know we beating we knocking down these big time teams we're not about to play down to these terrible teams level we're gonna go ahead and take care of business man and business definitely did that today um i literally woke up in the first quarter and when i once i seen the score i was like well damn <laughs> you know what i mean um you know the Pistons did not toy around tonight, man. They went ahead and took care of business, man. They, they was, they was, they was just all over it, man. They was all over. It. I don't know how else you could say it, man. Um, one thing I didn't like about the game, though, is you know the fact that Stan Van Gundy waited so long to put the other players in. Dude, you've been up thirty since like the first quarter. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You waited too long to put. You know them other guys in man. Fourth quarter, end of the third, or or the beginning of the fourth. Them guys should have been in the game already. Don't wait until the last five minutes. And that's one of my main issues with Stan Van Gundy is when to substitute people because he I, he plays his uh, players too long, man. Too long. You play them entirely too long, man. Is when it's totally unnecessary. You know. I understand you wanna. Uh, your second unit to, you know, continue to, to build and stuff like that, man. But they can build along the way. You know what I'm saying? That's what you got practice for, man. You're going to fuck around and get somebody injured uh, keeping them out there on the court that damn long, man. Um, them, them guys should have been sitting down. You should have been seeing Boban and Henry Ellison, man. Um, but, no, he waited to the very last minute. So, with that being said, um, that was my only complaint, of course. I mean, what what more can you complain about, you know, a game like this? Um, but, yeah, they, they totally annihilated the Suns tonight, man. And, you know, I'm looking for um, our next big matchup, man. You know, these garbage teams, I, they got to continue to do that. They got to take care of them early, get them out the way so y'all can sit down and enjoy these third and fourth quarters, man, hopefully with Stan Van Gundy. Um, but, yeah, playing down to these dudes level is not – Something that you want to do um, as a good basketball team. Uh, our recognition is up. Um, we've been seeing a lot of uh, stories and even on some TV shows, man. Um, you know, they finally giving the Pistons their respect. Um, yeah, you know, as we still battle for uh, that, that position and for first place, man, um, in the East. So, uh, the Pistons... Uh, the Pistons got a really good chance, man, to be a uh, top three in the East by the time it's all said and done. Um, you know, some people think the, that they're going to slow down. Uh, I totally disagree. I believe that they're going to get better. Uh, they're still not at the point where I honestly believe that they can be. Um, they're still building chemistry. So with that being said, um, the Pistons got a real good shot. Uh, not to see the Cavaliers in the first round. Like people was predicting all of them terrible prediction videos that was out there, man. I even got, you know, a little flack on mine back then. So, you know, people were saying they they would probably be a seventh and eighth seed, you know, the typical dumbass Pistons fan that don't really know nothing about the team. You just live here and then once you hear about the Pistons and all of a sudden he a Pistons fan. You know those type of guys, man. Don't know nothing about the team. Didn't know what hell, what the hell happened last season because he didn't watch. But then he come on your prediction video and tell you that you're wrong. They're going to be 8th seed or 7th seed. 
No. Um, the Pistons are definitely going no lower than the, the fourth seed uh, this year. I, unless we have some type of devastating injury um, that I'm praying and hoping don't happen, um, the Pistons definitely will be top four this year. So uh, probably going to be seeing the Cavs in the first round. So, um, you know, with that being said, man, I won't keep you all too long, man. I got to get out of here, go to work, make that money. So um, I'll be um, able to do the next game. Um, I'll be off of work. So. Um, I'll definitely be able to do that game. Um, but that's it, man. That's it. It's your boy, man. I'm about to get ready to get out of here. Smash that like button for your mans. And uh, leave it in the comments. I'm out of here.